Hey guys, Steve Welch here with my Tales of a Car Guy series. Uh, it's on both this channel and my Fact of the Day channel, so definitely check that one out as well. Link will be at the uh, end of this video uh, in the top right corner. So, um, I had a customer, this was this was probably 2019, maybe 2018, um, and he had uh, basically showed up, right? So, this is back in the days where we had lots of cars on the ground, and um, and we're, we're getting better with that now, but we had lots of vehicles on the ground. We had uh, uh, pretty much selection like you'd normally expect from a car dealership, right? So, um, but he drove all the way from California. He had a hybrid Highlander, right? And uh, he was looking to get a new new Highlander. And he's actually, he's one of you guys. He's one of my, my viewers here on YouTube. And um, if he's still out there, I still appreciate you, but this is, this is a really great story to kind of tell you guys what uh, a lot of people are dealing with. So, um, and keep in mind, this is back before everything changed, right? And uh, it, it got worse for a lot of people. But so he shows up one day, right? And uh, he comes in and he, he asks for me. And it's like, okay, hey, you know, yeah, I'm happy, happy to help. How can I help you? He goes, well, I drove from California because I wanted to work with you. And I was like, what? <laughs> kind of shocked right so you wanted to work with me he said yeah he said uh i'd like to buy a highlander and i want to trade in my highlander he told me what he was looking for i was like yeah not a problem so i you know went went to the highlander and i you know showed him all about it showed him the new stuff showed him everything that was you know available on the the highlander that he was looking at and yeah yeah that works perfect let's put the deal together all right so um we put the the deal together and made uh made him very happy and i was we're just sitting there and we're, we're getting ready for finance and I, it, it was bothering me in my own head, right? Because I have to know answers. <laughs> just thought, you, you guys know that. So anyway, so I asked him, I said, so where you live in California, there's like three massive Toyota dealerships within maybe an hour drive of you. I mean, it's, they're, they're huge. I know of them. They're huge. And he goes, yeah, you're right. And I said, oh, why? Why would you drive all the way to Nashville for a car that realistically you could buy in California a whole lot easier? And he said, it's simple. I was like, okay. He said, I refuse to buy a car or an SUV from somebody who knows less about it than I do. And I said, so you're, you're saying that in these three massive dealerships probably have 30, 40, 50 car salesmen in each one of them. In these massive dealerships, there was nobody there who knew their product. And his response was, not that I found. Which that is extremely telling. So, um, like I said, it's, it's just something that, that kind of floored me. But um, I have found that there are very few car salesmen out there. And if you're a car salesman and you're watching my videos, put it in the comments that you're, you're a salesman and you're watching my videos, because I have found that the vast majority of car salesmen that watch my videos actually give a, give a crap, right? That they actually want to have a better experience for their customer. They want to know their product better. They want to have a better answer when their customer asks a question, then I don't know. I can find out. Right, and that's just something that it seems like right now, the 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 average customer is really lacking a knowledgeable salesperson in a time where the technology is so far above and beyond what it was even in 2018, 2019 when this guy bought his car. I mean, there there are connected services. There are things that you can do through your phone that you couldn't do before. There's there are all kinds of things on these cars, digital keys and uh, different ways to remote start them. And, and, and I don't care if you're talking about a Toyota, a Honda, a Chevy, a Ford, all these cars, the tech on these cars ha has, I mean, it, it's night and day compared to just a couple of years ago. And moving forward, it's likely to do it again, right? So here, here's the point. So if you're a car salesman and the person you're trying to work with doesn't understand their product, how can they help you? If they don't have the thirst to go out there and find out about their product, how can they help 
you? How can they answer your question when you have a problem or you have something simple? I have some people that will come back three, four times and say, hey, I noticed this. What's this? Or they'll send me a picture of something. What's this? And I can answer them right away, right? Because I know the answer, right? And I've got other salespeople, and I'm not saying anything bad about people I work with. Don't get me wrong there. But I got other salespeople that I work with that consistently come up and ask me questions. Now, I will give them a ton of credit that they know where to go to find the answer. And and they don't go on the computer. They don't go to the owner's manual. They don't go to any of the tools that Toyota gives us to find the answer. They come and they ask me. Or they ask one of my other coworkers who's just about as thirsty as I am when it comes to knowledge on these cars. So, realistically speaking, um, by, the, by the way, if you come in to Beeman, and, or if you're anywhere near Beeman and you want to call Beeman and ask for me, do that. If you come in and, and you're looking for a car, don't work with just anybody. You know, ask for me. You can work with me. I'll sell you the car, right? I am, you know, and, and when I say sell you, I mean help you buy, right? Because realistically, Toyotas sell, sell themselves. They, you don't really need to do a lot to sell a Toyota, but you do need to know a lot to deliver one. You know, because there is a ton to these cars and you need to set them up right. You need to do it right the first time. There are things you can do to the cars that will affect them for, for years to come. Or that you, it, it's harder to undo something that you did than to do it right the first time. There's a bunch of stuff like that. So, realize who you work with matters. So, if you're coming into Beeman, you're anywhere around this area, don't go to another dealership. Because the chances you're going to find anybody that tries to know as much as I do about these cars, you're not going to find it. I, I just, I refuse to be second. It's a problem I got. I, I just, I refuse to find somebody that knows more about these cars than I do. And if I did find that, then I would make sure that uh, whatever they knew, I knew. So um, I'm not going to say that I am top, top, top for, for everything. There are people out there that know more than I do. There's people out there that have information on cars that haven't been released yet that, uh, I haven't been able to play with. I, I realize that, but you know what? I'm going to listen to them. So I know who they are. I know who to listen to, and I know where to find answers, and I'm usually going to know it, but just realize that. So you guys coming to Beeman, definitely ask for me, but here's my tale as a car guy. I grew up all the way from California just to work with me, and it's a, it's a great honor that he did that, um, but uh, yeah, he, there's so many dealerships he could have could have worked with out there but he literally said out of 150 salespeople and dealerships that sell at, at that point probably thousands of cars a month between the two of them he couldn't find anybody at three dealerships within an hour from him that knew enough about the car that he was confident in buying from them tells you a ton guys but steve watch you know, with your tales of a car guy so you guys definitely like subscribe and check out in that uh, that corner up there my fact of the day channel i got more of them out there uh but i got a lot of stories for you guys so uh steve welch you guys have a great day talk to you soon bye